We want to make sure that no air gets inside the house. Well, how are you going to breathe? No, we're talking about keeping the house energy efficient. You do use some kind of house wrap, don't you? Sure we do. And then when we're done, we put a big bow on the roof. Happy birthday. Putting a big bow on your house before you move in is fine, but you need to wrap the house before you ever put the exterior siding on the home because you can lose a lot of money if it's not wrapped properly. What happens is wind blows and it hits the exterior siding on your house. It'll go through that siding and get around it no matter what kind you use. And that draft going through the walls will knock out 63% of the effectiveness of your insulation. So if you have a two by six wall with R19 insulation in there, it's only got a value of about R7 if there's a 10 mile per hour wind outside. You need to block that wind from going in the house. This is where you spend a lot of your utility dollars. Here they've got a DuPont Tyvek home wrap wrapped all the way around the exterior of the home. And you've probably seen this material before, you just didn't know that it was Tyvek. What they use it for is FedEx envelopes, and the reason why is you cannot tear it apart and water can't get inside. And that's the beauty of this product, as well as blocking off the air, it blocks off the moisture as well. If any water gets back behind your brick wall, your vinyl siding, whatever type of siding you have, it can't go through the Tyvek. But on the other side of that, you do put a lot of moisture in the air, whether it's pots and pans that are boiling, or maybe you turn on a shower or fill a bathtub with hot water, all that humidity. Just walking around and talking inside the house puts out humidity, cooking, anything. All that moisture that builds up inside the house needs a way to get out. One side of the Tyvek won't let water go through, but the other side will let water go out. Very similar to like a Gore-Tex fabric for sports clothing. Water can only go one direction, not the other. So you're blocking air and water. And if you look at a house a little smaller than this, this one's 21,000 square feet, but talk about a 2,000 square foot house, more typical home. It has a half a mile of cracks in it. That's where different building materials come together, like cutouts for windows, doors, just anything around the house. Well, a half a mile of cracks is the equivalent to having this window open all year round. So you've got to block those cracks. Now you need to go inside and put in foam, but you really need to go around the exterior and put a good home wrap on it to prevent that air from penetrating into the house. 